All right, just check out that clock there in the top left-hand corner of my dash says it says 14.05 and this will become relevant shortly. Well, hello everybody, this is Old Man Tony here. Nice to be out in January on the motorcycle. I think this might be my first ride of the year. Or did I do one earlier? Not sure. But uh, today is the 15th of January and I've just been challenged by Paddy Outback. Check out his channel here if you can. To do a 10 minute vlog with no edits and no spaces without talking longer than 20 seconds. So this is what I'm doing. So it's the 15th of January today and it's 11 degrees Celsius. 11 degrees Celsius must make that about um, double it and add 30 that's um, 22 52 degrees Celsius which isn't bad for the time of month not bad at all so what am I going to talk about today well I'm sure I'm going to talk about a load of gobbledygook. I've absolutely no idea what I'm going to talk about, but I'll think of something as we go along. So I'm just coming into the village of Hingham. I think I told you before, this is where President Lincoln's ancestors came from. It's also the place where my daughter and two of my grandchildren live. In fact, just up here on the right hand side, is the school they go to. Like a lot of villages, it's still the old Victorian buildings for the schools with a few new bits added on to them. So that's their school that they go to. So this might be my last opportunity to get out on the bike. I've um, seen the forecast and it says from today it's going to get colder so although it might be reasonably warm for the time of year today by the time um, this vlog goes out in the next couple of days we'll be struggling to get above freezing during the days by the sounds of it but we'll live through it and no doubt I'll be using my car a lot more Looks like it's white van day. Everything's coming past all at the same time. Everything is coming by. So this guy's let me out. And so we've managed to get out of that. I was hoping to do a bit more riding and less sitting around at junctions. But hey, that's the way it goes. So January's been pretty good for me. I've been um, making a few more pieces on the lathe, which I won't show you this time. But hopefully in a future vlog, I might just show you some me doing some work on the wood lathe. And you can watch as that wood disappears into um, wood shavings. Which half the time, that's what it seems to be, wood turning. Wood turning just seems to be a way of converting big chunks of wood into small chunks of wood and a huge pile of wood shavings but I enjoy it it's quite therapeutic you get out there with your um, face mask on and your chisels carving away it's almost as good as riding the bike but not quite but it's another way of relaxing and escaping and that's what I like about the motorcycle other than when I'm doing my vlogs, it's pure escapism. It's just something that takes your mind off everything else. I think it's the concentration that you have to make. Um, I think somebody said that it's, it's a regressive thing that you can do. Now Paddy Outback, he's a psychiatric nurse, so he might be able to explain this a bit better. But it's something that you do that you're totally focused on without any other worries in the world 
which is a lot like you are when you're a child. You just live for the moment, and that's what motorcycling is about. As soon as you get off, all the worries come back, but there again, what does that matter? Because it's the moment when you're riding. So it's a Tuesday today. I've been out this morning with the wife um, and bought myself one of these um, feather lined um, thin jackets, you know, the kind of the things that folds up into a pocket, which I thought would be ideal for wearing under my motorbike jacket and for wearing um, under these other things as the weather gets colder so I could wear a thinner jacket and still keep warm when I'm out in the cold weather and so far it seems pretty good inside my um, bike jacket not getting the cold belly like I did the other day but then again it is 11 degrees Celsius I was talking to someone the other day about heated grips too I haven't got heated grips on this bike, it's got a lot of extras, but no heated grips. So I keep tossing up in my mind, do I spend a load of money on super insulated gloves? Because these ones, these are just Sparta gloves, they're quite cheap, but they are warmish and they're supposed to be waterproof. I don't know if I've tested them out on the waterproofness, but what is the best? Is it better to go for a good quality, expensive pair of thermal line gloves? Is it better to go for some heated gloves? Using a bit of the old battery power of the bike to um, keep yourself warm? Or is it best just to go for heated grips? You know, no wires connected to you, and I suppose heated grips are the best solution in that way, but they only keep the parts of your hands warm. Whereas heated gloves, they keep the back of your hands warm. So, I'm kind of leaning towards heated gloves, especially since most of the heated grips I've seen add a load of um, extra spaghetti around your bars. Unless you go for the Triumph OEM heated grips, which are about twice as expensive as the Ultras ones, or maybe more than twice as expensive. And they, um, people talk about them not being that effective, only heating one side a bit more than the other side. So I'm just, um, in my mind, not sure what I really should be going for. It changes from week to week. So we'll probably get to the summer and I've done nothing again. But that'll last me. Oh, 50 miles an hour limit. These odd little limits are appearing all over the place. So this is a what we call a B road in the United Kingdom. The British people will know what a B road is. But we've got um, motorways, dual carriageways, A roads, B roads and then um, unclassified roads. Sometimes people call them C roads but um, this is sort of um, reasonable but it depends which part of the world you're in but the speed limits keep creeping in all the time so this one is 50 I'm not sure why it's 50 it's not as though there's a lot of um, housing nearby but we're seeing them increasingly encroach upon our world so B roads were always good roads to be um, going out on. Didn't often see the police out with their speed guns on B roads. And if it was safe to do so, you could um, have a bit of a go. But now, the nanny state is gradually taking that away. I don't know why. But I think they just want to be in control control every aspect of our lives but who cares about that 
Well, I think we've got to the 10 minute mark now. I think those of you will be able to see. The clock on my um, dashboard is saying 2.15 now, 14.15. So I think I've had about 10 minutes. So, if you've liked this unedited video format, please tell me about it down below. Also, if you didn't like it, tell me about it down below. Because I'm really keen on the comments. I love to see the comments. I always try and answer the comments. If I'm watching a video, I always try to make a relevant comment. So, you'll probably be seeing me comment on a video near you soon. So, if you've made it this far, thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to leave the comment. This has been Old Man Tony. Goodbye.